Good day and welcome back to Coach Rick. In today's video, we are going to be doing something a little different. We are going to be doing a five tip video on how to score more hundreds. Tip number five is the most important. So please watch through to the end of this video so you can get the maximum value. Number one, we feel that setting small goals when you're batting is an easy way to keep your innings going and not sort of get stagnant within the innings. So you can either use five or 10 runs little mini goals on your route to a big score of 100. So using five runs at a time, you can use the houses on the block of a street sort of analogy. And for each run you score, it's a house along the street. And for each block, there are five houses. And if you manage to do that 20 times, you'll be on 100. Important with these small goals is that sometimes a time frame is important with them and sometimes it's not as crucial. So it also depends on the type of format of cricket you play. Whereas you need to get the goals a little bit quicker, the shorter the format, and you have more time to achieve those goals the longer the format goes. Breaking your innings up into small tasks may make the bigger task seem easier in the long run. At this point in the video, I'd like to remind you guys to please leave a like if you have enjoyed it thus far, and please also subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get this information as it releases. Number two, I know a lot of people aren't going to enjoy hearing this, but it's really important that you are fit enough to be able to score 100 runs. That means that your legs need to be able to carry your body for all of those runs and that your arms and your upper body don't fail you in your ball striking ability and your ability to hit boundaries when needed and still rotate the strike wall. So make sure that every week you set out some time to manage your fitness properly because as you have small goals in cricket, you can set small fitness goals that you need to achieve within a month, within three months and so on and so forth. Number three, we feel that strike rotation is massively important, especially if you're playing longer innings. It's not often that you're going to score boundaries as 80% of your runs in a long innings. So it's important to manage the good balls and get them away for ones and twos, as this is the building blocks towards the 100 as well. So you're looking to score boundaries and have singles at the same time so that you don't waste your energy trying to hit boundaries with the good balls and that you keep putting the bowlers under pressure. Number four, we feel that to score a big score, you need to be patient within the innings. You need to know that there's generally more time than what you think as a cricketer. So take the time and utilize that time to its max. There's nothing more criminal in cricket than a team being bowled out before the overs are done. So use all the time that is available to you. And with this, you are going to be looking to hit the ball on the ground and take low risks, especially at the start of your innings. Point number five. The point that we feel is the most important tip, especially if you want to score big innings. And this is going to tie everything in this video together and hopefully everything in the construction of your batting innings together and that is having a good batting game plan. We did shoot a video on this a couple of weeks ago. The link will be in the description below and over here. We feel that it is important that when you have a batting game plan, you have two or three boundary options that you know are definite boundaries that you can play. And then also having strike rotation options to the balls that are a bit better. This is gonna help you hit the bad balls away for a boundary and then absorb the pressure of a good ball and get onto the other side. Sometimes it is easier to play cricket from the non-striker's end, especially when a bowler is bowling quite well. So work hard for the singles and then sort of take advantage of the bad balls to get the boundaries and build everything into that 100 that you deserve. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like below. Also comment on any other tips that you feel might help you get to 100 or anything that can come to your mind that other people might be able to use. Please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get the content as it releases.